everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to my coat collection video so i actually filmed one of these videos a couple of years ago but obviously since then i have accumulated quite a few more coats i have a huge rail here which is actually looking like it may topple over at any second because there's so many coats on it i think i've got like 19 here um so that's a lot of coats some of them fall under more of the jacket category but i basically included in this video everything that isn't a blazer so there's a real variety really smart coats long coats short coats casual coats everything that you can think of pretty much obviously because this is like a coat collection video and not a coat haul not all of these items are new i've had some for quite a few years now um, so I will do my best to link similar. I know it's really annoying when I show you things that are no longer in stock, but I do buy pieces that I am going to wear for years and years to come. Um, most of the coats, especially that I buy because they're at sort of like a little bit of a higher price point than the rest of my wardrobe, I really want to get my wear out of them and I want to be able to wear them for many more autumn and winter seasons to come. So because I've got so many coats, I'm literally just gonna get straight into it. Um, I'm gonna talk you through the coat a little bit, the size I wear. I'm gonna try on all of these coats wearing the same outfit, what I've got on now, which is literally just a plain black top and some black leggings and trainers because I feel like every single coat goes with this outfit so you can just get a good idea of what the coat looks like on um so yeah i'm gonna stop rambling now and i'm gonna get straight into it so i've kind of gone with like a light to dark on the rail because that's just how they were in my wardrobe so that's the order i got them out in so start with the lightest one first this is a gorgeous white coat i got this recently from oasis it was very kindly gifted to me i'm obsessed with it i didn't think i would like it that much um i sort of kind of just picked it out on the website but yeah that looks nice i don't have really a white coat in my collection but i am obsessed with it the fit is so so lovely you'll be able to see what it looks like on here it's kind of slightly oversized i'm wearing it in a size eight so i would say you definitely do not need to size up um, it's got this lovely tortoise shell buttons double breasted a really nice length almost kind of like a cocoon shape as well it kind of scoops around a little bit um, but i love it it's such a great coat as you can see it looks really really nice styled casually with just some trainers and like a gym set but also it looks fab with leather heeled boots if you want to dress it up a little bit more um so it's a really really versatile coat fab quality as well um, just don't be drinking your mulled wine when you're wearing this. So next up is a trench coat, which I spoke briefly about in my autumn outfits video. Um, and I have been obviously on the hunt for a trench coat for ages. Found the perfect one. Here it is. It's from Massimo Dutti. Massimo Dutti. I don't know how you say it. I'm sorry. Um, but that's where it's from. It's a gorgeous length, really nice and long. Um, I had to get it in a size extra small because that's all they had. Um, which I think on the website was actually classed as a size 8. Um, I definitely could have sized up. I'm sure one size up would have fitted nicely as well. But I really do like the look of this. Um, I feel like sometimes when a coat or a trench coat especially is the length that this one is. If it was even bigger it may drown me slightly. I don't know. Um, but I love the fit of this. The quality is insane. It's a beautiful colour. The exact kind of classic trench colour that I was looking for. And again this goes so nicely with everything. I wear it with trainers constantly also looks fab dressed up as well um, it's just the perfect trench it's a slightly higher price than i would have liked to have paid for a trench coat i think it was 189 pounds so a bit pricey for me but i am so pleased with it and i really do feel like this is just going to become my staple trench every single year um, and i'm not going to need to buy another one speaking of trench coats this is one that i have had in my wardrobe for such a long time you guys love this one i always get so many comments whenever i wear it asking where it's from um, it's from Topshop, but like i said i got it i think two years ago now so it's definitely out of stock but it's such a gorgeous trench. It's really quite heavy, so it's quite thick um, and it's quite warm as well, which is quite good like for taking it into winter. But I just love like the detail on it. Like it's got these ties around the sleeves. It's got a lovely belt. It's got the flap at the back, like a classic trench coat. Yeah, it's really, really lovely. The reason that I wanted another trench coat is because this one is very cream and it's very, very light in color. And I just wanted something like this one 
that was a bit darker. I do still love this one, but I don't wear it as much now. Um, and I got it in a size eight and it fits really, really nicely. There is a similar one, I believe on ASOS at the moment that has these kind of like ties at the sleeve. So I will obviously link that down below. Moving on to this gorgeous, gorgeous cream coat that I got from Mango last year. I adore this. It's such a smart piece. I love the collar as well because you can wear it up and it looks really nice like done the whole way up really really smart piece it also comes with a belt as well but i take the belt off because i just think it looks better open and um, perhaps if i was going for a more smarter look i would belt it um it's kind of double breasted but it's got these like invisible buttons so that when it's done up it just looks really chic and you can't see the buttons it's a lovely length fantastic quality i don't have anything else with this kind of collar in my wardrobe i'm wearing it in a size small um, which I don't normally go for. I normally go for a size extra small um, in Mango because I find that their coats come up quite oversized already. Um, but I went for a small in this one and I'm very glad that I did because it actually fits quite tight. So I definitely wouldn't have gotten away with an extra small this time. But yeah, I love this coat. It's beautiful. It's worn so well as well, considering how many times I've worn it. Um, it's still in fantastic quality, which is great. So next up, we have the first of a couple of Teddy coats. Now I'm a little bit cold right now and I, all I want to do is just put this coat on. I adore it. I actually got this from Primark about three years ago. I went on my own to do some Christmas shopping um, and it was like nine o'clock when it opened. I went straight in there. I saw loads of good, bit, good bits. I picked up this coat, which three years ago was like when Teddy coats were really coming into their own and they were really expensive. Um, and I found this one, I think it was like 30 pounds in my size and yeah i just felt so lucky i love the color of it it's like this mix between kind of like a taupe and a gray and yeah it just fits so beautifully it's got pocket it's the perfect length i got it in a size eight um so i didn't size up and it fits really nicely i think a nice oversized look um, but this is so, so warm. Um, I don't tend to wear teddy coats that much anymore, but I do love to keep them just for when I want to be warm. Like if I'm going on a walk or something and I know I'm gonna be really cold, I will always pop a teddy coat like this over the top of a few layers, as long as it's not raining. But yeah, I love this. It's such a beautiful color and an amazing quality coat for Primark. Now onto a coat of kind of a similar color. This is a little bit darker than the Teddy coat, but it's still got that kind of brown, gray color to it. Again, this is something that I purchased about three or four years ago. I absolutely adore the shape of it. It's just a classic long, belted coat from Zara. It's got these really deep pockets at the front, which I love because I can just throw everything in there. Um, it's a gorgeous coat. It's very thin though. It's not lined, so it's not going to keep you that warm. I tend to keep this one for the autumn and the slightly warmer side of winter. It's great to throw over like a thick knit, um, but yeah, it's not going to keep me very warm if I know I'm going to be like outside all day. I adore this kind of coat. I've picked up many of these since um, from Zara. I feel like they bring them out every year in different colours. Just the loveliest shape, really nice length, just classic kind of coats, aren't they? Um, I got this in a size extra small. Definitely could have sized up to a small, but I do just tend to, in Zara and Mango, go for extra small because I feel like it's the safest bet and the coats then aren't going to drown me. So very similarly to the previous coat, Again, this is just a long Zara belted wool coat, no lining again. These flaps on the collar are just so annoying. I've literally steamed them so many times. I've really, really tried to flatten them down and every time I wear it, it just does that. I have pinned it before as well, like with a safety pin. Um, so I might have to do that next time I wear this, but yeah, just, just ignore that for now. Uh, but this is a beautiful, beautiful camel color. This is a slightly different style to the one that I just showed you because as you can see, we've got buttons on this one. Um, it's double breasted and it's got this really nice sleeve detail. Um, I remember wanting this coat, I think it was last year that I got it. Um, yeah, I remember wanting it for ages and it went out of stock and then it just magically before Christmas came back into stock. Um, so I bought it, I got it in a size extra small and I'm definitely pleased that I got this in an extra small because this is so oversized. I can't believe that this is the smallest size that they do in it. But yeah, it's beautiful and I feel like a camel coat is such a necessity 
in my winter wardrobe. Before I had this one, I was specifically looking for a camel coat. So I'm very, very pleased that I got my hands on this one. And there are many similar versions, both at Zara and Manga and lots of other places um, that do like just a plain belted long camel coat. Um, so I would definitely recommend because they're so versatile as well. So here we have more of a jacket, um, but I still wanted to include it in this video. Again, from Zara, it's a lovely quilted jacket, slightly oversized, but I got it in a size medium. Um, so it would be oversized because that's how I wanted it to fit. It's also reversible, so you can wear it on the shiny side as well. I prefer the matte because um, it's just a little bit more subtle. Uh, but this is a great dupe of the Frankie Shop um, quilted jacket. And this was so affordable as well. It was only $49.99. Sticking with the green quilted theme, I have this gorgeous long quilted coat from Mango. I adore this. It's so handy. I literally wear it all the time. It's really, really comfortable. It's belted as well, which I feel like is such a nice feature because it can make it look a little bit more chic as opposed to just like a long line puffer. This is not as warm as you would maybe expect it to be. Um, maybe it's because the weather has suddenly turned very, very cold. But I'm noticing it a bit more. Um, but I did expect this to be a teeny bit warmer, um, especially for the price as well. I think it was around £90, which I think is quite a lot for a puffer. But um, it is quite good quality, it's just not as warm as I would have hoped. It's a lovely statement jacket, um, but also it's really practical as well. And I believe it also comes in some other colours. Now, next up is a very practical coat. This is my waxed barber jacket, and I adore this. I actually got this for Christmas last year. I wear it so, so much. I do a lot of walking, obviously, having maple, and I do a lot of walking anyway. So it's just so nice to have a proper barber jacket, something that makes me look a bit country, uh, but it's just so, so handy. It's kind of like a dark green, as you can see there, with like a cord collar, lovely check lining. Now this is actually surprisingly warm, considering it's more of a jacket than a coat. Um, the lining in it is quite thick, and I don't know, there just must be some kind of padding in there that really keeps you warm, um, because it does a fantastic job of that. It's my most worn jacket, 100%. I literally pop it on every single morning to walk maple. So next up, I have a navy coat. Now this is from Forth and Reckless. I've not actually worn it yet, but I really feel like a navy coat is such a great coat to have. I've got a lot of black ones, which are coming soon, um, but I think navy is just a really nice color to slot into my wardrobe. So this one is just single breasted. It's got this one tortoise shell button in the middle it's got pockets and it's a lovely kind of cocoon shape it's really really warm slightly oversized um i've got it in a size eight yes which is my normal size you definitely don't need to size up again it's just another one of those really great throw on coats now for something slightly different we have more of a biker style um this i got from zara a couple of years ago and i wear it so much this is so warm it's fully shearling the whole way through so it keeps me so warm and um, the only trouble is if i was to wear it over black like this all the fluff would come up on me it's not ideal um so i tried to wear it with different colors but yeah it's a gorgeous coat really heavy really chic looks fab with leather leggings and boots it's nice to have a shorter coat um in the collection as well so next up we have a leather trench coat this again is from fourth and reckless and i got this last year i absolutely love it i think it's really nice to have a darker colored black trench to take me through into the colder months because a trench coat can often just be associated with autumn or spring but i think it's quite nice to have a darker more like grungy one that i can wear in the winter this is a really nice shape it's also got a belt as well which is nice so you can belt it really cinch it in and make it look a bit more chic um, I got this in a size 10, so it is a little bit oversized, but I do really like that kind of draping oversized look with this. So next up, we have another classic belted Zara coat. This one is obviously black, and it's pretty much exactly the same as this mink colored one that I showed earlier. The exact same style, really. It's deep pockets at the front, nice and belted, no buttons. Um, this one, I think, is a bit shorter in length. Uh, which I still quite like. Um, it's nice to have something a bit different. I would prefer it a bit longer just because I think that's more flattering on me. But yeah, I do really love this coat. It definitely needs a bit of a lint roller on it though because it just collects fluff and hair, um, which is slightly annoying. But yeah, another really classic coat. I don't think you can go wrong with something like this. And now because this has been hung up next to it, this now needs a lint roller on it. Um, but this is another black Zara coat. As you can see, this one is 
double breasted this is more of a tailored fit the belted style is definitely more relaxed and this is more smart but i do still love wearing this over a casual outfit as you can see here i do still think it looks great with trainers i love this coat i bought this recently so it should still be available on zara it was quite pricey i think it was 120 pounds but the quality is insane it's such a smart coat and it's literally just an absolute classic i know that i could be 40 years old and still wearing a coat like this maybe not this exact one but it's a really classic style um and again you just can't go wrong i'm wearing it in a size extra small which was definitely the right size for me um so i would say yeah just stick to your normal size now we are on to the second teddy coat so as you can see obviously this is just a plain black one this one i got from misguided a couple of years ago um, and again, I just sort of use this the same way that I use the other teddy coat. I don't tend to wear it too much anymore just because I don't feel like teddy coats are as much my style. But I always keep this because it's so, so handy to just throw over when it's really, really cold. Like if I need to pop out and run some errands and it's like December and there's snow on the ground, this is what I will be wearing because it's literally huge and it is so so cuddly and warm it's just like wearing a dressing gown times 10. another practical coat here this is the second barber in my collection if you follow me on instagram you will know that i worked with barber international recently and they very kindly sent me this coat and i've been wearing it so much like i said the other wax one is fantastic and it is really warm but this is slightly easier to layer up underneath because it is this kind of quilted fabric again it's so warm and cozy it also has a bit of fur lining around the top but i prefer it without so i've just taken that off but yeah i absolutely adore this coat it's a really nice length as well so it's really flattering on i love the gold detail as well um, and it's just really nice to have a long line practical puffer that i know that i can wear every morning that's going to keep me warm i will always reach for either this or my other barber whenever i'm going on a dog walk so the penultimate coat which is not really a coat this is definitely more of a jacket it is just a plain gilet i got this from zara last year but they still have this one in stock um if you want to get your hands on it um as you can see it's just kind of like this faux leather gilet it's quite fitted what size did i get it in i got it in a size medium so it wouldn't be as tight um but i love wearing this over an all black look it's such a handy piece to have really nice and casual obviously this looks better with a long sleeve again it's so practical and very very easy to wear and i think it was really affordable as well i think it was about 49.99 uh, but yeah, I love it. And it's a bit different to any other gilet because of that faux leather effect. Just makes it a little bit more chic. And this is essentially the version with sleeves. So this is just the same kind of thing. A cropped puffer with sleeves. I got this from Nasty Gal a couple of years ago. Um, and I just love the effect of it. I think it's really cool, but also really practical. So I wear this like day-to-day -day running errands just to keep me warm, something to throw on. It looks great with all black. Just a very simple coat to have in your wardrobe. It's one that I always reach for. I've had a few puffers over the years. I always end up keeping this one um, in my collection because it's just so versatile and very easy to wear. Right, that is everything for my coat collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the pieces in my wardrobe. Sorry that this video was so long. I tried to whiz through and give you as much information as possible while not boring you to tears. So hopefully you've stuck around to the end. As always, Always, everything will be linked in the description box if you enjoyed this video it'd be amazing if you could give it a like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you all very soon with another video bye